all right guys welcome back to the end of the video in this video i'm going to show you how to generate the animation map like this using raster layer so this map will be very helpful if you are dealing with tam series data and in this map you can see it uh, you can easily insert your title uh, dynamic title north arrow scale bar grids and even the color bar so if you want to know how did i make this map watch this video till the end so let's get started before starting the actual process i want to thank the kusheng wu and other team for writing this g map library here using this library i have developed the script uh, to generate the time series animation and recently i made a small contribution like to add the color bar and then to add the uh ender layer on the generated gif so yeah both pull requests are already merged so now you can use the same code as i have in my screen by simply using like downloading this file since uh, this library is not released after my pull request so you might not be able to uh, get the result from google collab but uh, by the time you watch this video you might be able to do that make sure to check the same script on uh, google collab as well so in order to generate the time series animation so as i said before so i made the contribution over here in get image collection gif function from kato ee and then i'm going to use the same file uh, to process my uh, time series map so here first of all uh, if you are watching this video maybe before new release then you might need to download the script and then do the uh, activate your environment for me it's gee and of course uh, you can like simply install the latest version using pip install dot i'm in the like working directory of ge map and if you do pip install dot it will install the latest version from whatever you downloaded from github so this is the version that i have downloaded from github and now the second step will be you might also need to install cartopy and scipy library if you already haven't installed that and then the second step is to uh, you need to import ge map and e and then you need to authenticate and initialize your ge map and then if i print out the version then uh, it's 0 0.32.0 right so if you are like using 0 0.33 then uh, the functionality might have already implemented in ge map so you you don't need to like download and test it like me okay now i'm going to like map my center to this latitude and then longitude and with zoom level of five so this is the indonesia area if you want to see the map then uh, you can simply print out the map so yeah it's simply printing the indonesia region uh, on the osm background right and now uh, so i'm going to like uh, select the indonesia map from like country boundaries which is from fao so if you want to see so you can search for g data catalog and then uh, you will launch to this website and then search for fao gaul 2015 level 0 data so i'm simply using this data set and as you can see it here so i'm filtering uh, this administrative boundary based on the admin name uh, so which is here so simply if i run this cell so it will filter out the indonesia region and then it will get the geometry in indonesia geom and then right now i'm interested in a particular one date so 2023 7 and 15 and of course uh, you can select the different date or the different precipitation data or the or maybe you can select the different raster image collection for me i'm selecting 
precipitation collection uh, which is from uh, GMP iMERGE uh, version 6 and uh, you can also try to find out the things uh, by simply searching on the uh, earth engine data catalog and uh, this is the one i'm working with and then it has lots of information but i'm actually interested in precipitation cal cal that means the precipitation data set right so simply i select the precipitation data set and i filter out uh, my date and then date dot advance that means uh, it will simply increase the date by one so 7 16. Uh, that means uh, i'm selecting the data set for only two day and then i'm here i'm masking out the lace ppt so this function will like simply update our max if the precipitation is uh, less than 0.5 mm per hour then simply i remove it from my uh, raster layer so i max out the raster layer and then um, i simply added that indonesia boundary to the my map with a simple color style and width of zero and then line type solid fill color nothing and similarly if you want to like visualize this max Im emerge collection then you can uh, simply activate this script but for now I, I just want to simply disable it so that will be fine and if you check the map then you'll see the indonesia boundary in the blue color right and now i want to like clip uh, the boundary uh, the imers data set to the indonesia region so if i run it then now i get the 48 images uh, which is the image collection and then uh, of size 48 and uh, here i'm simply trying to print out the bounding box of indonesia it might be useful later in the video uh, i'll show you where uh, it might be useful but for now just uh, just print out this thing and after that um, i simply display the sample image with image e -E i merge and then i selected the clipped image first image and then i added that to the map so if i run this cell uh, then it should uh, show us the i merge data set as well so it's running uh, you can see uh, something is adding into the map this is the raster layer so raster pixels representing precipitation layer and uh, simply to try out the uh, my layer so i use cartopie uh, and then here i'm using width and height and then i'm setting the uh, center of map latitude and longitude I tried to run this uh, 9 or 10 times uh, because I did not find the exact like required center of the map center of the like Indonesia so you might also need to repeat or you might uh, if you know the center of your location then you can simply enter it and then I designed the reason based on longitude and latitude uh, and I added the axis outline color I added map and then here i added the grid lines uh, and then the co color bar on the right side right and then i added the north arrow and i also added the scale bar right so if i run this cell and then finally i added the title of my map as well total rainfall 2023 715 and it will show me the result okay it's running okay so this is the single map right so now i can generate this simple similar style map using another fun function so this map is just the static map representing only one time stamp right now if you want the gif or the animation collection uh, then simply you need to pass which image you want to look for and then uh, you need to set the output directory and then give uh, image location 
and after that uh, you might need uh, the visualization parameter region fps mp4 you whether you need mp4 or not and then grid interval i set it to 5 comma 5 of course if you have larger area then you might need to increase decrease it oh sorry increase it otherwise you might need a smaller grid and the um, my contribution come here so i added the like technique to add the boundary of like area of interest in your uh, animation map previously this function was not available in the g map and then after that i also added this color bar dict uh, parameter using this uh, you can generate the image having color bar on the left panel so basically previously uh, it was only generating the uh, animation of your uh, raster layer but this time it will generate the like vector boundary and then the color bar as well okay so if i simply run this cell then you will get the image something similar to this one but it will be more dynamic so for example you will get the first image like this and second image third image of course it's like changing right you can see the time stamp over here as well so it's 334 435 right so yeah so in this way simply you will uh, generate the uh, image and after that if you see the image collection then uh, it will look like this which is also like generated from the same script uh, the final script so if i run this so it will first generate the images and after that after uh, finishing uh, creating all the required images for animation then it will create the animation dot mp4 or gif and then you can easily visualize this animation like this right so since i already run it and then get the required output so i'm going to terminate this process because i already have the final output right so yeah so it's it's very easy with a uh, g map thanks to kusheng wu and other uh, contributors so yeah it's it's very uh, useful and very easy to generate time lapse map so i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching